Hello everyone and welcome back to the online spoken English class. This module is aimed at the common errors which we make while writing or speaking English language. Let us discuss some of the common errors. To and at. To is used to express motion from one place to another. It would be wrong if we say, we come at school every morning. What is the correct sentence? We come to school every morning. While at is used to denote position or rest. For example, someone is standing to the door. This is incorrect. Someone is standing at the door. This is the correct sentence. Now, please repeat the correct sentences after me. We come to school every morning. Someone is standing at the door. At and in. At is used before the names of small towns and villages. Now let us see the usage of at. It is incorrect to say, I spent my holidays in a village. What is the correct sentence? I spent my holidays at a village. In is generally used before the names of countries and large cities. For example, if we say he lives at London or at New York, this would be a wrong sentence. So what should we say? He lives in London or in New York. Now please repeat the correct sentences after me. He lives in London or in New York. I spent my holidays at a village. In and into. In denotes position or rest inside something. For example, if we say he spent all the day into his room, this is incorrect. So, what is the correct sentence? He spent all the day in his room. Now, let us understand the use of into. Into denotes motion or direction towards the inside of something. For example, if we say, he came in the room and sat down. This is incorrect. This is a wrong sentence. So, what is the correct sentence? He came into the room and sat down. Now, speak the correct sentences after me. He spent all the day in his room. He came into the room and sat down. Have a look at these three prepositions which are generally confused. On, at, in. On is used with the days of the week or month as on Friday, on March 25, on New Year's Day, etc. So, don't say, my uncle will arrive at Saturday. Say, my uncle will arrive on Saturday. Now, let us talk about the preposition at. At is used with the exact time as at 4 o'clock, at dawn, at noon, 
at sunset, at midnight, etc. So, it would be wrong if we say, I usually get up on 5 o'clock. We should say, I usually get up at 5 o'clock. Now, we will talk about the preposition in. In is used with a period of time as in April, in winter, in 1945, in the morning, in the afternoon, etc. So, don't say he takes a walk at the afternoon. Say he takes a walk in the afternoon. Now, repeat the correct sentences after me. My uncle will arrive on Saturday. I usually get up at 5 o'clock. He takes a walk in the afternoon. To and till. To is used with distance. So, don't say we walked till the river and back. Say, we walked to the river and back. Till is used with time. It would be wrong if we say, I shall stay here to next month. The correct sentence is, I shall stay here till next month. Please repeat the correct sentences after me. We walked to the river and back. I shall stay here till next month. Have a look at these sentences. We see that adjectives or adverbs in the superlative degree are preceded by the and followed by of or in. For example, he is the tallest of all the boys or he is the tallest boy in the class. These two sentences are correct. But it would be wrong if we say that he is the tallest from all the boys. This is incorrect. Now please repeat the correct sentences after me. He is the tallest of all the boys. He is the tallest boy in the class. In this module, we learned that by using correct words at the correct places, we can avoid making errors. In the next module, we shall deal with some more common errors. Thank you.